Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Blue Archive episode number 4 reaction. So, the previous episode we meet the problem solver 68 um, consisting of their leader Aru and a few other characters um, and uh, yeah they were tasked with taking care of Abydos and uh, <laughs> in a weird way just before they did that they ended up going to the, that, that ramen shop and they met the Abydos you know like students over there you know like Aru didn't realize who they were and just like ate ramen and everything had like in a good time like shook their hands and everything and then later on realized like oh my god we have to actually <laughs> we have to actually like fight them so yeah they fought the next day uh by hiring some mercenaries they bought like you know hired some mercenaries and unfortunately in the end they lost or not really lost i guess the time was up and the mercenaries weren't ready to do overtime so they just left so it's kind of funny how the whole thing went um, but yeah, you know, like now they're screwed. They they invested money in their mass mercenaries. The mercenaries just left without doing the job by the end of it. And now the task that they were tasked with has failed. So they literally they're broke now, even more broke than before. So yeah, so let's see what happens today in this episode. This is episode four. Let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it to whichever is a preference, and let's begin. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two. One, go. Oh no. <laughs> Yo. It's probably the guy who hired them. You know, we, oh, so they're extending the deadline. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they used to do it in a tent? Oh no. Wow. With some wonder. So they'll be taking a loan and then, okay, that is a recipe for disaster. Hmm. Oh my god, that... Oh, okay, so I thought they're taking loan from... The... Okay. So they, like, paid that money. Alright. In cash. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Oh, I feel like. Okay. I thought someone else is going to attack it or something. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. All right, then we <laughs> Okay. Damn. Yeah, right. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look like a black market. Everything's so colorful. Usually it's like in a underground, like, you know, hmm. Right. Okay. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, as soon as... What the... What is that? What a weird looking bag. Trinity? Yeah, okay. Right. Oh, I remember this girl. This girl is... I think her name is Hifumi or something? Isn't it? Or am I making a mistake? Rich... Okay. That's why they're doing this. Yeah! <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> yeah. Yep, I knew it. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. In the black market? Hmm. Feeling going on. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, the thing in the, this mascot thing? What the, what is this weird looking mascot? No, it's not. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yeah. Special financial and okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You come with us. <laughs> yeah, you come with us. Come on. Let's go. Right. Oh, there she is. Aru. Okay. Right, because she's blacklisted from the other bank, she has to come here. Taiyaki. Hmm.
That's true, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god, they're gonna go in and meet Aru again, I guess. 15% of camera refresh. Wow. That is a lot. 15%? Like, damn. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Black market guard? Wait, what? They have guard? Oh my god, so they have guards? Interesting. So they have like a security for the the CD stuff. Yeah. Uh, so the Kaiser loan are related to these guys. Damn. Yep. That's their money. Loan shop. Yeah. Ah. And they have connections to this bank, so. Yeah. I see that makes sense. Yeah. No, it's pretty obvious. Literally did that. What? Oh, she's talking about proof. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. What? Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. The oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I guess this is a. <laughs> this is a criminal bank, so. <laughs> oh my god she actually accepted it uh you have to put one as well oh unfortunate oh <laughs> the paper bag yeah <laughs> <laughs> Number five. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Hmm. Swimsuit gang? What? Why swimsuit gang? I don't... Okay. Oh, yeah, they're here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> wow. Wait, so they're even being rejected by a... By loan in the black market? That is crazy. Oh, that's why. Wow.
ये पार्ट टाइम जॉब रॉब द दैट्स एग्जैक्टली गोन हैपन नाउ जस्ट यू वेट Race criminal in Kimatos. Hmm. Oh God! Here we go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Well, you wanted that. Oh wow! They already defeated those two guards. Oh no! Yeah. You know, unlike you guys, they don't have halos. Faust. He's talking about you. She's the leader here. <laughs> she even she slipped up. Yeah. I feel like Aru won't realize that. Yeah, Aru won't realize that they're from Kibotos. Will she? Let's see. Damn. That was quick. <laughs> yep, she doesn't rem- realize. <laughs> yeah, their eyes are all sparkling. <laughs> Oh god. Hey, run 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 go back. Yeah. <laughs> Good god. Now we have to run away, I guess. Nice. <laughs> uh, and she's like even not even related to this whole thing. Hear for me. She just got dragged in. Wait. Oh no, they. Wait. They didn't check. Oh okay. Right. <laughs> No, no, no. It, it, it might. Oh, not only that, but the fact that these. Yeah. But. No, it's the same. you're literally paying them back again. Like you're taking the money and giving them back to them. Like because they're connected to this. Hmm. So what do we do with the money? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it, it, it's a problem when you start. Like it's just going to become a habit. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, because of a habit. It'll become a habit. And that. Yeah, so what do we do with the money? Should we just throw it away? Oh, Haru's here. <laughs> oh, they just put it back. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. We need to think of something. I think they do have a name or like the swimsuit gang or whatever they said. <laughs> yep, there you go, masked swimsuit gang. Wh where's the swimsuit in this? I don't understand. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I hasn't said yet. Oh my god. Um maybe not. Yeah, let's just... Oh, uh, did they keep them? Yeah, yeah. So, you know. I guess you guys can take it. <laughs> I guess. I doubt she will, unless and unless they spell it out for her. Oh no. Oh, they told her. I thought they're not going to tell her. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wasn't expecting them to tell her. Okay, I thought they're going to keep it a secret. Like, I guess, you know, obviously she needs to know. <laughs> All right. Mm. Is that it? Yeah, that is it.
all right that was today's episode so today's episode was the black market i guess and robbing the bank <laughs> and yeah you know and and aru getting like a <laughs> like motivation for her own like you know what she's supposed to do uh, seeing the kibbutz, uh, uh, the the Abidos student doing all, all of these uh, and getting motivated by them and then realizing in the end that they're actually from Abidos. And that was funny. That was a good, that was a good episode. Now, um, okay, a few things. We actually get to meet a new character here, Hifumi. Now, here's the thing. Um, I probably wouldn't have remembered Hifumi's name, but I remember it because, you know, like I said, I have started the game again. I'm not really playing the main story for now. However, I am playing the, um, the, 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 I think, what do you call them? The recap events, the, the events that, you know, has already happened. There's a few of them. And I feel, I, and I think that like, there's a few of them that gives like some welfare characters. I, I recently, I, I was like playing the one which had, what's her name? Um, Suruki, is that her name? You know, that, that one girl from Gehenna? Surugi, isn't it? Let me check. Like, yeah, Surugi. There's, there's the event which focuses on Surugi's, like, uh, you know, like, an, uh, like uh, I think, like, summer event or, like, you know, like, like uh, beach event. And they give out Surugi as, like, a welfare character, her, her swimsuit version. I recently did that. And there, um, Hifumi is heavily involved. That is why I recognized her. I was like, oh, that's Hifumi, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, and... Um, Oh wait, Hifum is from Trinity. Wait, then uh, with the, what was she doing with the Gehenna students in that event? I I don't know. You know what? I'm not really sure. L like still I'm I'm really new to this whole thing. I feel maybe, you know, like, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Either way, you know. So, yeah, the, in that event, uh, Hifumi, like, I think, like, his, her swimsuit version is kind of there. So, that's why I recognized him her that quickly. Um, and I was like, oh, that's Hifumi. However, I didn't really remember her involvement in the main story. Like I said, I've forgotten most of the main story. There's a few things that I remember. For example, the other few things that I remember in the first chapter of the main story is that I do remember that a girl will come with a mask um she's like a ninja or something like she's from i think Hyakyoko. is, is that what's the name of the, the other school is which has like the whole like a Jap Jap japan theme uh like you know like the like ninjas and stuff um i think she's from there as far as i can remember i don't I, i'm not 100 percent sure but i think in the first chapter she'll come somewhere down in, at the very end you know that's all i remember other than that i don't remember anything in the first chapter you know so yeah, so I forgot Hifumi's involvement in this part as well, but I did remember her from the, the event that I did in the game. So, yeah, I, I don't really remember what's going to happen now, though. You know, I have no idea. But, yeah, I did remember the whole, um, the mask swimsuit, like, you know, that part where they robbed the bank. At first, I didn't remember, what the, but when they were like, oh, there's only one thing left to do, I was like, oh, yeah, I do remember this part, you know, in the game. <laughs> And yeah, and then they brought up their whole guns and everything and started robbing the bank. Okay, yeah, that was a funny episode, you know. And seeing Aru always getting, like, you know, not understanding the whole situation at the beginning and then later realizing it and just being at shock is just hilarious. Even in the previous episode, the same thing happened. She didn't realize that she was talking to the Abidor student. And then when everyone was like, um, actually, these people are the people who are supposed to go and attack the next day. And she was like, what <laughs> the same thing here as well she didn't realize you know and um <laughs> everyone was like in the end like oh like they're actually the abidor student and she's like what <laughs> okay you know it's kind of impressive because not impressive i would say but um the fact that the other girls you know in aru's group were able to recognize them even with the 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 thing like here's the thing they only fought them once. The fact that they were able to realize who they are. Oh, I guess. Wait a minute. Did they have the. You know, when they were wearing the mask, did they have their uh, identity card? Yeah. 
They literally had their identity card dangling in fr front of them. It, it's pretty obvious that... Or wait, they were like, wait a minute. I'm not really sure, but you know, the, the cards were, all the cards were hanging. So, I guess if you try to focus on that, you'll probably realize that they're from Abydos. Isn't it? I guess the, the identity card was up, were upturned, like on the other side, the side where, okay, I'm not really sure about this, but I feel like that was a big giveaway. Uh, but even though, even though that wasn't, even if that wasn't the reason, I feel like they just saw them and realized, like saw their dresses and everything and realized like, oh, they're from, and their voice, oh yeah, their voice as well, I guess, I recognize their voice as well. Um, so yeah, but Aru was obviously, Aru was like, oh my god, who are these people? They are the definition of evil. <laughs> This is how, this is what I'm trying to be, you know, this is my future goal. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, the, the end was funny where everyone told her and she was like, what the hell? <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> right. Um, and there you go. And we also got to see a little bit about the black market, about the Kaiser Loan's involvement with this uh, bank, you know and all those things we got to see and you know and oh also in the end we got that part where uh, everyone was like Serika was like oh like we should use this you know uh, because at the end of the day we will be using this for something good okay but here's the thing she said like oh we, we should like repay our loans with this but I was like if you repay the loans with this aren't you literally doing like just repaying the, the back to the same organization because Kaiser Loans has uh, connections with this group so you know isn't it like the same thing you're doing you're literally giving them money um, but you know like all that aside what um, Hoshino said was very important she was like we shouldn't like start as soon as we start doing something like this next time we'll be like oh let's do it like this nothing we can do about it like we'll get used to it this will become a habit so, you know, even if we know that this is wrong, you know, if you think that, oh, just one time, you know, that is where everything comes, comes crumbling down. As soon as we do that one time, that becomes a habit. And next time you'll also probably think, ah, oh, like one more time, like, yeah, like I'll not do it from here onwards, but one more time. Third time you'll also think the same. And it's going to continue, 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 and it's going to become a habit. So, you know, this is very important. I feel like, like, like you know, even though like you know this was like the whole inside the whole anime and they were talking about this whole situation i feel like in real life as well this is like one of the most important things you should remember because you know when you know that there's something wrong that is going on and you're actually getting involved in it you should always remember that even if you think that oh it's just for one time you know as soon as you start that it'll become a habit and next time you'll also think that oh it's just one time and it's going to continue and continue unless and until little by little you know that whole part of thinking that oh just one more time next time i'll not do that will little by little fade away and you'll just get used to it so much that it'll be like something you normally do so so this is actually a very important lesson like even in reality and this is a very important lesson like something bad always don't don't do it you know like just if, because if you start it's over it's just it's just like like a way down from that point onwards you cannot come back up and if it becomes a habit unless and until you're like extremely strong-willed but it's very difficult you know like because once you do it once yeah it just it just becomes that and here's another thing if you are actually able to restrain yourself after doing it once i feel like it's still not okay because if you are someone who's able to do that restrain yourself you still feel guilty about the fact that you did it once and it's going to eat at you forever. You know, because this is the thing, bad people and people do, who don't have morals and good morality, they do this very easily, they don't care. You know, but if you're a good person and you try to do something like this, that's not okay. Because you know, like you're, you're, you mentally will be stressed, the guilt will eat at you and, as, you know, and little by little, if it becomes a habit, you'll forever live with the burden that, oh, like, I did this. And yeah, so it's just, yeah, like, it's just something like that. But either way, you know, like, obviously, I cannot really say, you know, there's a lot of 
people, different circumstances. Yeah, but if you have a situation like this in front of you where there is a way to go through the proper moral route, you should always try to walk that. Because, you know, once you move to the wrong path, it's difficult to come back. And that is what Hoshino was saying. And that is extremely important. Um, yeah, like Seika was saying, you know, like, oh, this is like money that they, they're using. Uh, they're, like, they're, they're, they're illegally, like, you know, like using and they're, you know, like, obviously these, this money, they don't reserve it. So instead of just giving it back to them, you know, we do use this for ourselves and, uh, you know, at least it's not going to, they're not going to use this for something, doing something evil. But, you know, still, as Hoshino said, it's just not worth it because it'll become a habit otherwise. Either way, yeah, that was a, that was a good episode. Um, and yeah, let's see. Okay, now that was that. Now let me talk about this episode scene by scene in case I missed something. In the very first scene, we get to see Aru is talking to the other problem solver members and she's like, okay, so like a phone call came. So I'm guessing whoever um, like hired her for the whole Abidos situation, they've probably called her back and they were like, oh, like we're giving one more week. So she's like, we got one more week, but everyone is like, we don't have money. Because they already, you know, like in, literally in the previous episode, we saw they were actually cutting off on their food costs just so that they can hire some mercenary. And now that's it, like, it's just, it, it just, it was just a waste. So now what they're, they're going to do, they don't have any money. So to do this, obviously they'll need some financial, like, you know, help. And <laughs> I think one of them were like, oh, like the, f oh, here we go. Oh, Kayoko. Kayoko's like, we're, we're short on money because you rented this office. And I was like, no, like, you know, we're, a, we're an actual criminal organization. We need an office. <laughs> and uh, anyways, so they're like, she's like, all right, we, we, we go for a loan. But the loans have also blacklisted her. So, you know, <laughs> and she's like, oh, no, my account got frozen because I am wanted. Either way, it's a problem. You know, like, what should they do? They need not money, but they don't have money. They want to get a loan. They cannot get a loan because they're blacklisted <laughs> and all that. Right, so next we get to see um, Abydos, they are paying off their loans for this month, I'm guessing, the Kaiser loan, they came in. And they talk about the fact that why Kaiser loan takes it through hard cash, why don't they do it like, you know, like electronically and stuff. Which is an interesting thing that they're like, yeah, like I do wonder why. We do get our answer later on, why they do that. You know, either way, um, so then they talk about the parts that they got and how like you know like they are related to the black market they start talking about the black market how it's like in a gray area where the uh, general student council they are not able to do much you know their whole power doesn't go that much that's why a lot of people here just do illegal things you know and uh, you can get a lot of things like uh, weapons and other stuff just illegal stuff you know and how the problem solver states also frequents that place um so they're like we need to investigate you know um, the connection between these things so to do that we need to go to the black market um so hoshin was like it's settled then let us go check it out so they're off to the black market and you know it's interesting because you know the, the black market usually in games and like you know like animals and stuff is usually like in like an alleyway like you know like in a underground type of place where like there's like no lighting like small little dim lights are just glowing and you know like and just it's like that type of place here it's like under the blue sky everything is just so colorful and then we have the you know the, the people doing illegal stuff it's pretty, like this is one thing i don't know i really like is like you know i usually prefer um like colorful and bright scenarios instead of like a dark like you know like a like a very like uncomfortable like you know those are, and, and you know different games and different animes have a different theme some stories are very dark and very you know like that kind of thing there's a lot of people who really like that that dark aspect to a game game or anime i however is a type of person who even if something messed up is happening i want it to be colorful like you know that kind of thing <laughs> so i really like the whole um like atmosphere of blue archive 
is because blue archive is filled with color like even all these things like crazy things are happening and like you know all these like illegal black market stuff is still colorful and i don't know i just i'm i, I just like that you know it's just you know I, I, just, I just like color and brightful like i'm sorry colorful and bright things um you know so yeah i, I really appreciate this type of a uh, setting you know where everything is just so bright and you know yeah either way and um, there are in the black market and they're like we need to keep an eye in you know like in case we should not get into trouble here you know we should try to get to a, into trouble here but then we get to see hifumi is like running from um the girls uh, those delinquent people and they saw the the symbol and then like oh it's trinity um so you know like hifumi comes to them and they take care of the Oh, so the, the thugs were trying to get her because she's from Trinity. So yeah, you know, they might, she might be rich to get the ransom and all that. Um, either way, they take care of them and Hifumi introduces herself. And they're like, wait, so you're from Trinity. Why are you here then? And then she's like, oh, because I want like a limited... At first they were like, oh, do you want some kind of bioweapon? Do you want some kind of, you know, like, like illegal stuff or something? And she's like, no, actually, this thing, this, what, Peroro-chan, I think, the, the mascot? Like the limited goods of this. So Nonomi knows about it. So Nonomi's like, oh, I know about this. And they're talking. So basically, I'm, I'm guessing it got sold out or something. So yeah, she's ready to give big amount of money here to get one of these. So that's why she's here in the black market. Either way, um, they're like, oh, but this place is dangerous. You know, like all that stuff. Um, so <laughs> in the end... Hoshin was like, all right then, we helped you out, so you come with us, you have to help us out. And Hoshin was like, wait, what? Like, I, I didn't, exp <laughs> I didn't, like, you know, like, um, I didn't sign up for this. And yeah, um, then we get to see the problem solvers, they have gone to the, 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 blank, uh, the, the bank, you know, to get a loan from there, you know, obviously in this black market. Yeah, so... And while they are there, our group as well goes over there and they're like, oh, just like, you know, like there's a lot of people doing a lot of illegal things, you know, but it's crazy how, the, like, you know, like these, this, this, what we're trying to find is so deliberately hidden. And okay, where's that part? Here we go. Regarding the illegal parts that you're looking for, there should be relevant in, in, information, but it cannot be found like sales channels and storage records. It seems they're very deliberately hidden. And they're like, but that's weird because, you know, even the leading companies here would not do so much. Is it an exceptional case? But is it this necessary? Um, I sense the companies here committing evil openly. They wouldn't do something so sneakily. And they're like, oh, just like that, you know, like that bank over there. You know, like, so, yeah, they're like, the bank over here, they are obviously doing illegal stuff as well. So 15% of the money that they have here are obtained through various crimes, like embezzlement, robbery, kidnapping, this and that. Um, so, and we also have like a black market guard here. And this is where they got to see, get to see that guys alone is connected with them. And they're like, what the hell? So we've been just feeding this criminal company here, you know? So, yeah, and Hifumi is like, wait, you, you guys like took loan from Kaiser Group? And Hifumi tells them how Kaiser Group is like in a very gray area, so that, you know, it's difficult to kind of, yeah. So the Kaiser Group has ties with this, so obviously this place, obviously, yeah, it's not good. Either way, so they're like, all right, so to get some evidence and the related records, we need to go inside the bank. So how do we do that? You know, and they're like, we have just a way to do that. How? Bring out the, the masks. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we just robbed the bank, I guess. <laughs> And they also drag in Hifumi in this whole situation as well. Unfortunately, Hifumi doesn't have a <laughs> have that thing, that mask. So they just put a paper bag on her and puts like a number five on top of that. So there you go. They begin their bank robbery. Then they're called the masked swimsuit gang. Like I said, I don't know where the, the word swimsuit comes from. I'm, I'm not really sure because <laughs> either way, you know. So they go in over there, Aru is talking to the guy and he's like, oh, unfortunately, you're not allowed to get a loan because, you know, you don't have any assets or good, you know, credit score. 
<laughs> she she's like but and he's like oh the the office that you have it's it, that is also even rented only the few firearms that you have is probably your own so yeah we cannot give this to you in case you try to screw us over we won't have anything to seize so you know yeah just do some part-time job um Aru's pissed and Aru is like, oh no, this is not good, you know, like I don't have guts to fight the black mark and she was thinking like, you know, like if I could just uh, rob this place, but she's like, you know, kind of hesitating and everything and she thinks like we get to see a little bit of her past and, you know, we see how she was, I guess, just a normal student in Gehenna, but, you know, like she, okay, where's that part? Okay. The loans and these stuff, these boring matters make me crazy. Um, that is not what I want. Yeah. Okay, so she used to even wear glasses before. Okay. To fear nothing and to be bound. Obviously, her hair was also short. And to be bound by nothing. I want to be a tough criminal. Like this. But obviously, she's just like, I cannot do that. But then, as soon as she's thinking that, the whole place shuts down. The... Abidos, you know, like the, the masked swimsuit gang comes in <laughs> and everyone's like freaking out and I was like, oh my god, are these people here to rob the bank? And she's like, oh my god, this is so cool. This is just like I want it to be hard-boiled criminals. <laughs> right. And, they, you know, like they come in and they threaten the, the person and the, the, the person in the reception, they was, she was, he was like, oh, like, don't, don't attack us. You know, like, I'll, I'll give you everything. I guess it makes so much sense why they're so scared. Is because, number one, they will not die. Because, you know, like, the, 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 the one with the halos. However, these people, the, 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 the androids, the robots, the, the animal, anthropomorphic, you know, like, creatures, they'll probably die if they get shot, wouldn't they? Because they don't have a halo on their head. And that is also why I think Sensei was like, be very careful, do not harm the others. You know, the, the normal people here. So, you know, and, and that, I guess that it makes sense why that guy was so, like, you know, like, just freaking out because he knew that, you know, like, we, we are screwed. If, the, if, she, if she shoots it shoots us, we are screwed. So the, the, the receptionists, they were like, oh, like, I can, I'll give you everything, you know. So, yeah, and while all of this is happening, um, I was, like, just fascinated. She's like, oh, my God, these people. And she's, like, looking at them and she's, like, Seeing them all sparkle and like you know stars and stuff just on you know like just yeah that's how are we seeing them okay so the the guy in the reception she he was like oh like what do you want money bonds and <laughs> and they're like no 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 not, none of that we just want records um so you know like so yeah they they bring the stuff in a bag gives it to them and they're off and Aru is just like, oh my god, I just want to be like them. So Aru follows them, I'm guessing, after that. Either way, they, they are able to um, go through. And, and obviously, like, as soon as they leave, the, the, they're like, oh, get them. You know, like, and the whole place gets blocked off and everything. But successfully, they were able to evade the whole thing and run out. So there you go. And they've taken off their masks and they're talking about this whole th situation. They open the bag and they see the money. And everyone's like, what the hell, why is there money here? But Shiruko's like, don't worry. Inside the money, there's the, 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 the thing, the, the list and all that, the record. And here's where the whole conversation happens about the, like, you know, how, whether we should use the money or not. Serika was like, oh, no, we should use it. You know, why give it to them? They're using it for bad stuff. If we take it for ourselves, at least that's not going to happen. But this is where Hoshino says that, you know, it's not okay. Um, yeah, because... Once this becomes a habit, like now we are thinking that, oh, just one time. But the next time we'll also think that. So if we start walking this path, we'll, we'll just go downwards. There's no coming back up. So we shouldn't make that a habit. And like I said, this is very important. You know, not only in context of this anime, but in real life as well. You know, situations like this, we should, if we have the choice of going through a proper moral path and a wrong path, we should try to keep it to the moral path because once we go there, once we go to the wrong path, it's difficult to come out because, because you know, like it's easy to get into something, but then getting out of it is very difficult, especially if it's something like this. Like it's very easy to just deter from the good moral path to the wrong path, you know, but it's very difficult to deter back again. Like once you're in this path, it's over, you know, it's, it's just, yeah. 
So yeah, and there you go. And they have that whole conversation. Aru comes running. <laughs> and I was like, and as soon as she comes in, they put on the masks. And I was like, oh my God, so I can know you guys are so good. You know, like, I, I just want to be like you. <laughs> the way you robbed the bank. And you know, in a few minutes, you finished the mission and retreated. You know, I'm so shocked. I will also strive to be, you know, not bound by laws and convictions and be that kind of criminal. And she's like, oh, what is, what is your guys' name? And they're like, oh, we are the masked swimsuit gang. And, you know, like all that stuff. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, that is so cool. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What do they say? The motto? Wait a minute. Hoshino says, an eye for an eye and teeth for a teeth. <laughs> they they didn't really translate this part like now, now here's another thing you know like i think a lot, few people told me that oh the subtitles are bad and everything you know yeah i know that you know the fact the thing is i've been watching anime so much and like you know listening to japanese so much i don't have a problem like even though the the subtitles are wrong i actually listen to it and that's how i translate it in my head so it gets automatically translated so i don't have a problem yeah a few of the difficult words maybe i have a problem with you know, but most of the normal everyday, like, you know, like, quest sentences and conversation, I actually don't have any problem. For example, here, um, there's a part where a whole part of subtitles is just taken out. So, Hoshino says here, um, Me ni wa me, which means an eye for an eye. The subtitle, that, for, that subtitle is here. And then she says, Ha ni wa ha, which means teeth for a teeth. So... That part is not here. That part of the subtitles is missing. Yeah, so I understood that, you know, like, yeah, so stuff like this, I actually don't have any problem. I'm able to understand because I'm just so used to listening to Japanese that, yeah, I don't have any problems with bad subtitles. I, it automatically gets translated in my head. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have any problem with that. Um, okay, so, yeah, what was I talking about? The motto. So yeah, she says like ruthless and uh, wait a minute, where, where is it? In just a second. Ruthless and aloof. Uh, we dare to walk a dangerous path. This is our motto. I love how the whole do <laughs> this part. They have completely make uh, Hoshino a Jojo character <laughs> with the extra shading and everything. <laughs> this part is funny. And I was like, oh my god, so cool. And the others are like, what the hell is Aru doing? Because does she not realize that they're from Aru? <laughs> uh, and Mutsuki is like, oh, let's just keep it quiet. It's fun. <laughs> okay, anyway, so the masked swimsuit gang, they're like, all right, goodbye then. And rushes away. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I'll, I'll make that my motto as well. And then, you know, the other girls come in and then they are like, wait a minute, what is that? And that's the money, you know, like the bag full with money. And they're like, oh, now we don't have to scrape for our daily expenses. Okay, where's that part? Yeah, they open the bag and there's money. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, here's another thing. Like I said, yeah, the subtitles are a bit, you know, like very mistranslated. For example, here uh, Haruka says that, um, you know, the subtitle says we don't have to pinch and scrape anymore. But what Haruka says in a better translation, what she says is that from here onwards, we don't have to miss out on our food. I think that's what she says. Yeah, shokichi nukanakte mo We don't have to, uh, we, we, we won't have to like miss our f food or like skip on our food. Because obviously they're skipping their food to gain like you know ex like you know, money and try to you know like do the whole thing so the proper translation is that yeah from here onwards we don't have to skip on our food because of money however the subtitles here is that we don't have to pinch and scrape anymore it's a very subtle difference but still like i said i understand like you know the differences i can understand um like it uh, yeah but yeah that sometimes some places are a bit weird they don't properly translate the li like literally it just takes its own liberties, I can see. Um, either way, I'm fine with it because I can understand. But I feel like a lot of people who are, you know, like, are new to anime but don't un understand that much Japanese, they'll have problems, I guess. Or they'll misunderstand a lot of the sections. 
Uh, for them, yeah, it's important that you get like a proper subtitle. Uh, but yeah, for me, it's fine. I, I'm just used to it. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, now the next we get scene, we get to see like Aru's just there like thinking about the masked swimsuit gang. And they're like, you know what? I feel like we should tell her. And then they're like, um, actually, Aru, you do realize they're actually students from Abydos? And she's like, at first she's like, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, wait, what did you say? <laughs> I love how <laughs> each of them have like a different like reaction to this. <laughs> Kayako's face <laughs> Musku is laughing. And Haruk, Haruka's just, just there. <laughs> <laughs> right and there you go that is where it ended really good episode and yeah um i guess we met a new character hifumi and you know like aru doing goofy stuff and yeah and we do get to know a little bit more about the kaiser loan and that whole thing you know that whole section so there you go so thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to episode number um four of blue archives so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that is it thanks for watching i'll see you guys um next week with another episode of blue archive until then goodbye and have a nice day